All right, guys, welcome back to Ken's Chop Shop. Uh, today, it's gonna be just a quick, uh, kind of an unboxing and uh, checking out the new uh, Harbor Freight uh, US General Series 3 um, 72 inch uh, roller cabinet and uh, top chest. Uh, I've seen a bunch of videos on the, uh, the roller cabinet and um, I haven't seen any videos of the top chest yet, uh, but plenty of the the roller cabinet and the hutch. I ordered the roller cabinet and um, top chest. Um, I'll look the dates up and uh, get back to it on, uh, actually, let me look the dates up now. All right, so back on seven, eight and seven, nine, they had a sale going on for 15% off of these uh, US General uh, boxes. Um, it was 15% off of one item per day. So I ordered the uh, roll cab uh, on the 8th, and on the 9th I ordered the top chest, so Saturday and Sunday. Um, and then, um, so about 10, well 10 and 11 days later, on, so on that Wednesday, uh, Wednesday the 19th, yeah, Wednesday the 19th I got an email saying that both of them were in, in and ready for pickup. Um, I, of course, I was in Florida on vacation at the time. So uh, when I got back home on the 23rd today, um, well, I got back home last night. But uh, so on the 23rd, I went up and picked them up this morning. And uh, me and Kyle unloaded them a little bit ago and got them set up. I'll cut to the walk around or I'll cut to the video of us unloading them and getting it, getting the top chest on and uh, and all that in a few minutes. Uh, but I'm gonna do a quick walk around of it uh, real quick before this battery dies and, uh, and just show y'all the top chest. I mean, that's really what the video is more so about. Uh, everybody's seen the bottom cabinets, but I haven't seen many videos of the white ones and I haven't seen, uh, I haven't seen many, um, I haven't seen any videos of the top chest. Uh, so I figured I'll, I'll show y'all a little bit of that uh, and give my input on it. Anyway, here's here they are together. Uh, really like it. Uh, way nicer than I was expecting. I wanted the gray at first, uh, but when I saw they came out with the white, I kind of I already have a white cart, uh, Series Two cart, and I really like it a lot. And um, so I thought that I would just get the white instead. And that, and I saw there was a lot shorter wait time on the white so that helped but uh but also you'll see when i when i show where i'm going to put this at the white really blends in with the white walls and the black trim like because i got you know the white walls and gray and black trim you know white black gray in the whole building uh i think it goes really well with with the way the building is uh this top the top little hutch cabinet thing whatever you want to call it uh stock i mean it's plenty of room in there. It's got a, um, a knockout to take out of there for the pass through for power. I'll probably put a power strip across the whole back and get one of them icon lights that everybody keeps talking about and put on the top of it. Um, but you know, just like just like the bottom, it's got the it's got the lock the lock going all the way across. The, oh, you probably can't see that because of the light, but it's got the the lock going. You know, the latches going all the way across. Um, which if I, I got to remember which way to keep moving it, but same thing, with, just like the bottom. But now I've got, uh, instead of having a hutch, that's kind of useless for me. Um, now I've got all these extra drawers for storage, which, uh, I mean, I've got that one little tool cart over there and I've got another tool cart in the other garage and a small craftsman cabinet that, um, I've been working out of for years and uh, I just have tools I've lost so many tools just from not having them organized and being able to find them and I'll grab a handful of tools and throw them in a, a bag to go to the junkyard and uh, somehow I'll end up losing uh, losing a few tools in the process um, so hopefully this will allow me to be more organized and um, 
see what tools I do have to see what tools I need to start collecting and, uh, and make it easier to find things. Cause I spend so much time running around trying to find tools that I misplaced. Like, like right now I've got tools that I used last week when I finished building that wall that, uh, you know, I left out here because I wasn't really, I don't really have anywhere to put them in this garage yet because I haven't brought everything over from the other garage. You know, I've got stuff on this table from this project. I've got tools on this shelf. I've got tools on that table. I've got tools on that shelf. That cart's just loaded up full of stuff. There's tools over there. There's tool. There's just tool. There's tools everywhere, and it's a freaking mess. Uh, but anyway, that's not what this. Uh, it's gonna help me get more organized. This box is gonna help me get more organized. Um, but I like it a lot. Um, so you'll see in the in the video of us putting it together or setting it on there that top chest is heavy uh we took all the drawers out of it to kind of lighten it up as much as we could and um and um you know just to get it you know make it a little bit easier to put it on there and we still kind of because especially because i'm short uh we still drug it across the back a little bit but it actually didn't scratch any of the powder coating anywhere uh couple little nicks from us setting it on there and and all the weight of it sitting down on it but this thing is in great shape there's not a dent ding nothing on it no uh no bad spots in the in the coating that i can find oh um, i mean it looks really good yeah i'll pop this i'll pop this out of here later um i gotta put power on that wall and it where i gotta put power on the wall where i'm gonna put this uh toolbox anyway so I'm not worried about hooking power up to it just yet. Um, but anyway, let me uh, let me get this thing moved over to where it's going to live. Uh, I think it's going to live. Uh, actually, I'm going to roll it into two spots. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it into two spots, and uh, I'll let. I, I think I know where it's going to go, but um, you know, y'all can comment and let me know if you like one spot better over the other, or vice versa. It doesn't really matter. I'll probably still put it where I think I'm going to put it, but I'll show you all in a second the two two spots I was thinking about putting this thing in. I'll stop talking about that. All right. Bye. When um, um, I said in that last sequence that I was going to show you how we put the top chest on the bottom box, uh, but apparently this GoPro decided it wanted to stop recording um, when I was doing that. Uh, but anyway, all we did was um, we finished putting the handle on. Um, we removed the wheel chocks off the three little blocks off the end of the pallet. And then uh, pulled the box forward just a little bit to tip it off of the big styrofoam blocks. Then Kyle pulled the styrofoam blocks out from underneath of it. And then after that, we gently guided it down the uh, ramp and the trailer ramp and uh right behind the trailer is the my Datsun 620 and uh, so we had to be kind of careful to avoid hitting that coming down the bottom of the ramp um well that's just because the with the truck and trailer and keeping the door closed to keep the air conditioning and it was uh we were just a little too close to the other truck but um yeah so that's what we did uh we pulled all the drawers out of the top chest and set it on top of the um, bottom cabinet and then put all the drawers back in and then that was it so there you go
So this spot here is where I was thinking about putting it at first. But I don't know. So I was originally thinking about putting it there before I bought it. Um, it can go, if I took the handle off, well, it can still go over tighter to the steps. It's, it won't, the handle won't hit it. I mean, obviously I would take the handle off if it was going to be there. I still got to put a railing up. So that's not, uh, but anyway, I was thinking about putting it there because it puts it, I mean, see that it's flush with that column. It's like a perfect spot to, um, I don't know just seemed like a good idea but the problem is with the wheels being where they are I wouldn't be able to get them I wouldn't be able to get them all the way you know the, the wheels all the way tight to the column so that's kind of not good but it does it does make where I could put you know I could roll the welders behind here put like a fab table in this corner and have it kind of out of the well let me get stand back some so you can see that corner so, you know, I, I would leave that corner open to do something else behind it. But I think what I'm going to do, if, uh, I don't think this will stand up there. What I think I'm going to do is uh, this. Uh, you'll see in a second. So I think this is what I'm going to do with it. Um, it just, I don't know. I think it makes more sense to put it there like that. It leaves this area open to still walk through and, and come through. Um, you know, it leaves me plenty of room beside the door once I put that on there to get in and out of the, uh, where the electric panel and compressor is. Uh, and I just, and all, all around, I think that's a better better spot for it. Um, uh, I gotta pull that side off the wall a little bit. Um, you know, that keeps it. And then I can re really, then I can leave that top open and do whatever, you know, I don't know. I can do whatever. Well, I'm not going to leave it open, but I don't know. I think that's where it's going to live. I know this isn't the super technical video that some of these other guys are doing about these boxes, but it's a toolbox. It's relatively cheap, uh, considering. Um, and it's actually really nice quality. Uh, you know, I've bought some of the older Harbor Freight boxes and are not boxes, but the, like the carts and stuff and just some of the other stuff. And, the the quality of the coatings and on all that kind of stuff just was really poor. Uh, this is a really good looking clean box. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have any problems out of it. Uh, I know a lot of people are worried about with it being white that it's going to get real dirty. Um, I don't keep I don't smear grease all over my stuff now as it is so. Um, that shouldn't be a problem for me. Uh, I'll take some glass cleaner. I, I use that spray away uh, foam and a rag and I'll, I'll microfiber. I'll wipe it down every once in a while just to get the dust off of it. Um, but I don't I don't think that's going to be an issue for me. Um, dust will be more of an issue than grease. And, you know, with as smooth and clean as this coating is on this thing, I mean, it's it's really smooth and, and nice. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't see there being, a, you know, I don't see there being any issues. Um, 
I, I really like it. I'm happy. Uh, because I'm short, I mean, this is, well, I guess this is the, this is the perspective I see. Um, looking in, I'm 5'10"-ish, right about. I'm getting older, so I'm guessing I'm getting a little shorter. Uh, but, you know, I can, I can just reach the, the top to pull it down, uh, which is fine. I think all my, um, Milwaukee power tools and all that stuff is going to go up top. Um, and you know, probably put some chargers and stuff up top. I don't know if I'm going to use the charger drawer. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, seems like a great idea. Um, I'll try it out, but I don't know that that's going to be all that useful for me, but we'll see. We'll try it out and see. Uh, I got plenty of drawers to put stuff in. Uh, maybe, you know, I might use that for like my M12 stuff because I don't have, I don't have a whole lot of M12 stuff yet. Um, so maybe I'll put all my M18 stuff on the top and my M12 stuff in there because I got like a polisher and a couple other little things that I don't use very often. So I could throw those on a charger and just turn a turn the switch off on the on the power strip we just got a just got an on off switch on the power strip so I could turn the chargers off on that and then when I put the when I put the big power strip across the top of here I can do the same thing and turn it on and off which I guess will kind of suck because I'm short so I have to reach reach to get to it but uh, yeah it is what it is uh, Anyway, I'm uh, you know, I'm super happy with this thing. I like it a lot. Um, well, that's it for today. It's uh, I'm super happy with this box, and uh, yeah, that's it. Y'all have a good one. Um, whatever. <laughs>